This is Rabbi Schneider saying God bless you today and thank you for joining me on this weekly devotional called Seeds of Revelation. Share it with your friends. We're going to the book of Matthew today, chapter 18, verse 7. Hear the word of God. Jesus said, Woe to the world because of its stumbling blocks. For it is inevitable, he said, that stumbling blocks come. But he said, but woe to the man through whom the stumbling block comes. In other words, Jesus is saying, first of all, to you and I as believers, you know what? It's inevitable that there's going to be stumbling blocks in your life. In other words, it's inevitable, beloved ones, that you're not going to have challenges. Church, we're not going to lead a life that has no challenges. We're not going to lead a life that has no tribulation. The Bible says through many tribulations we must enter the kingdom of God. So we need to get any type of false paradigm out of our thinking that tells us that every day is going to go hitch-free without any challenges to overcome. No, there's going to be challenges every day. Jesus said, Blessed is he that overcomes. Jesus said he's going to eat from the paradise in the kingdom of God. So yes, get ready. Get a right paradigm. This life is a challenge. We've got a mountain to climb and the victory is ours. But Jesus is similarly warning in this passage. He says, but woe to the one through whom the stumbling blocks come. In other words, he said to a person, he said, if you cause a little one to stumble, he said it would have been better for you had you taken, never been born or what, that, a, that a big heavy millstone was tied around your neck and you were cast into the sea. So again, double concept here. Number one, let's just adjust our perspective in life. Every day we're going to face challenges. Let's not panic when they come. Let's not make them bigger than they need to be. Let's take them in stride. Let's live above them. This is life. But then secondly, Jesus warns us, he says, and make sure that you're not the one that's become a stumbling block to your brother and sister, to somebody else. I love you today, beloved. God bless you. We are the children of God.